What's going on, everybody? I had a special request to make this video. I had my boy Frank hit me up and was like, hey, you know, what's the, the vegan replacement for cheese? And I told him I had this great, easy recipe uh, for this vegan cheese sauce that I love to make. You can put it on pizza, you can put it on salads, you can put it on whatever your heart desires, right? So shout out to my boy Frank out there for inspiring me to, to make this video. So today, real easy. So what the recipe calls for, you get a hat, I mean, you get a cup full of cashews, you get um, a cup full of carrots, and then you boil it. So as you can see, I've already boiled it so you guys don't have to sit around. Um, you use probably like a cup and a half of water, get it to a soft consistency where the carrots are soft, the cashews are soft, and then after that, um, you're gonna throw it into your Vitamix or your blender or whatever the case may be. But a couple other key things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need nutritional yeast. This is what's gonna give you that cheesy flavor. So you can pick this up at Sprouts, um, Whole Foods, any of those kind of places. You're gonna find nutritional yeast. You're also gonna use, um, I personally like mine spicy, so you can use chili, uh, chili flakes to put in there, make it a little bit spicier, and some sea salt. And me, I'm gonna throw some jalapenos in mine because I like spicy cheese. So I'm gonna, I got a half a cup of jalapenos. So real simple, I'm gonna show you how this comes out. You're gonna grab your blender. You're gonna take the hot carrots and cashews and pour them all into the blender, just like that. Get that all in there. Then we are gonna grab the, let's do the jalapenos. We're gonna pour the jalapenos in there. We are gonna take a half a cup of nutri nutritional yeast and then whatever, Whatever consistency that you're looking for, if you want to make it a little bit cheesier, you can put a little bit more. Let's see. I always like to play with mine to see exactly how it comes out. With the chili peppers, depending on how spicy you want yours to come out, just sprinkle some in there. A couple dabs of do ya. And then salt. I always eyeball stuff. So I don't have exact measurements and I always like to taste my food. So a couple dabs of salt in there and then we're gonna blend. So we're gonna see the consistency and see if I need to make any adjustments. Put the lid to the blender. I always like to put it on low to start it off. Nice and warm. So if you want a thin sauce, you know, don't put as much nutritional yeast in it. If you want a thicker consistency, then uh, you can add as much nutritional yeast as needed. It's gonna thicken it up, make it a lot more cheesier. I think I'm gonna pour a little extra into mine. But as you can see, all I'm doing is blending it real quick, making sure it's breaking down, turning it up. Real quick. All right, let's see how. Let me take it out. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna add probably another half a cup. Let's see. Oh yeah. The, the flavor is there. I just wanna thicken it up real quick. I'm gonna add probably another half half a cup of nutritional yeast in here. But the flavor is there, y'all. Another half a cup. Throw that black back on the blender real quick. Blend that up. So, real easy, y'all. Y'all can throw this on pizza, um, tacos, anything that you need a, a vegan cheese for, real simple takes probably all of like 20 minutes, especially once you, you boil your carrots and your cashews down. 
and that breaks down. Everything else is, as you can see, real easy. You just throw it all in a blender, blend it up. And it's kind of like the Velveeta cheese. You know how you buy at the store, you get the nacho dip cheese. It's that kind of consistency. Like I said, I like mine a little spicy, so I threw in some chili uh, peppers, some jalapenos in mine, just to give it a little extra kick. Let's see. Let's see what it's all like. You don't have a million and one ingredients in it. Let's see, let's get a little bit more. Bam, that's it. So to go over what we put in it, it was a cup of cashews, a cup of carrots boiled into a soft texture. Um, we put a cup of uh, nutritional yeast. We use, what else? A couple dashes, like I said, depending if you want it spicy or not, I use the chili peppers. So we had some chili peppers. We threw in some sea salt, a couple dashes of sea salt, and a half a cup of jalapenos and blended it all up. And uh, it came out perfect, y'all. Got a, a nice big batch. Put it, like I said, on anything that you're looking for. So make sure... I'm going to start posting more recipes like this real simple. If you guys have any requests, leave it in the comments. But I'm going to start posting more stuff like this on my YouTube page. Follow my YouTube page. It's Cat Fitness on YouTube. Follow me on IG. It's Cat Fitness 3 on IG. And if you're not following me on Facebook on my Cat Fitness page, it's Cat Fitness as well. So I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, Frank. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. And we'll see you in the next episode. All right, peace out.